Now, the Korean government has summoned Jap Japan's ambassador to Seoul in for a meeting this Monday afternoon to lodge a formal complaint over Tokyo's review of a landmark apology on wartime sexual enslavement. Our Hwang Ji-hye tells us what the Korean side had to say. With the relationship between Korea and Japan growing increasingly frosty over historical issues, Seoul summoned the Japanese ambassador on Monday. It came in response to Tokyo's announcement last week of its re-examination into the Kono statement. Cho Tae-yong, Korea's vice foreign minister, told the Japanese envoy Koro Pesho it's a historical fact that women were forced into sexual slavery by the Japanese military during World War II, and the whole world recognized it. He added that the more the Abe administration attempts to dismiss the Kuno statement, the more its credibility and international reputation will suffer. The Abe government, while upholding the statement, claimed that Seoul was in close consultation with Japan when the statement was being drawn up. The Kuno statement was issued back in 1993 by then Chief Cabinet Secretary Yohei Kuno. It acknowledged for the first time the forced sexual enslavement of some 200,000 women. In addition to calling in Japanese Ambassador Koro Pesho to complain about the move out of Tokyo, the Korean government plans to register historical records regarding the so-called comfort women with UNESCO and bring up the issue during United Nations meetings. Korea's foreign ministry is known to have tentatively concluded that the Japanese review was trying to diminish the testimonies of sexual slavery victims and the apologetic tone of the Kuno statement. Hwang Ji, Arirang News.